What's up, gang? So, um, unfortunately, there will not be a, a part two vlog tonight. Um, but I will show you guys how to put on an 18650, um, a new battery wrap for your 18650s and your 2700s and your 21700s and etc etc so this is a model cell um p28a and this is an odb battery wrap um with the harpy design on there so this could be used for any battery wraps or any purpose but a lot of times in vaping, especially in the Boro community, um, you have batteries like this, exposed battery mods, um, or you have things like this, a billet box, which has a clear panel, and you can see the battery. So you want to customize your mod a little bit, um, stylize it, color coordinate it, um, you can put custom battery wraps on and ODB makes um, a ton of them. I mean, a whole shitload of them. You know, I got some more right here. Uh, ODB is uh, based in uh, the UK. Uh, I think it's just one guy and his wife. And I'm not sure if he has a piece of uh, Obey Robot. I think he may. Um, along with Vape and Bogan and Bearded Viking. And... So let's get down to, uh, down to business here. So this. Oh, I thought it was a Craftsman. It's like a fake Craftsman. It's got Craftsman colors. This is a Drill Master. Um, this is a heat gun. It's got two settings. Uh, really hot and really, really hot. So I'm just going to do really hot. Um, a lot of other people, um, to put on these battery wraps, will use um, a blow dryer, a hair dryer. And it's just not as effective. It, it does. It's not as hot as a heat gun. So... The stock wraps, they're actually, most stock wraps are very nice. They're, they're thick. Um, ODB wraps are thinner wraps, um, which depending on the mod you have, that tension will, could be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, so let's just, this will not take long. Um, I am going to just take some scissors. You have to right, drop a bunch of things on the ground. Take some scissors, and I'm going to carefully cut the edge out and then peel it down to uh, take the old wrap off. Now, I do this on literally all my batteries, and I have tons and tons of batteries. Um, and I always notice I'm not, people are either go all out with this or they don't do it at all. And it's a shame because it's really quite simple. I mean, once you do one of them, like you would not mind doing it again. And I think that's what it is. Like people just never bother doing it. So they think it's a pain, too much of a pain in the ass, and it's really not. Getting the battery wrap off is probably the hardest part, and look, I got it off. Never run a battery without a battery wrap. Um, never run a battery that has a torn wrap. Um, it's just dangerous, and you could short out your battery, and... Things could go boom. So 
Here we go. Uh, do, do not lose this part. That will come out when you peel the battery off. Um, you need to keep this on the on the top there. It's um, crucial. So here's a rookie mistake. 95, 98% of Bora mods are made so that the posit the positive, the top of the battery is facing downward in the mod. So, for example, your billet box. The logo and design and letters, everything's facing upright and you can read it properly, you can see it properly. I take this battery out though. You'll notice that the positive part top of it is actually on the bottom so it's positive down keep that in mind when you're putting your battery wrap on battery safety 101 it's not battery safety i mean i did mention some battery safety but this is just i'm feeling you know it's tying into the borer world a little bit because uh, battery wraps i don't know i don't feel like they were ever that much of a thing until Bora mods, you know, and ODB really blew up, you know, they're really popular. I feel like maybe like Vaping Bogan and um, Tony B, Vapor Trail Channel, um, they're like the only ones that really even used ODB wraps um, like that or, you know, publicized them or whatever, but it's just so common in um in the Bora world to have colored customized whatever battery wraps and so to get my image upright i flip the battery around so that the positive parts facing down always remember that or else it's going to look stupid because your your stuff's going to be upside down this one has a serious crease in it so that's going to be a little bit of a bummer to get out. I know. Thanks. Thanks for uh, for chiming in, though, Miner. Appreciate you. So, um, making sure you have the right, having it in the right spot. You want to test it, curl it, curl the wrap down to see how much is going to cover the negative space. So this is a pretty good height. You know, you, you don't want too much height on here or you don't want to have it down too far. Um, because when you curl this around, you want to make sure you're not covering the, the positive uh, tip of this. So I'm actually going to push it up just a little bit more. And I could see that should be perfect. And yeah, it'll cover just the right amount of, of the edge, of the circumference of the, or diameter of the battery, whatever. Okay, here we go. So it's kind of loud. Probably won't be able to hear me very well. Here's the other tip. Take your finger and actually keep it over the top because that little round disc thing protector whatever with the heat gun the air that it throws around it could push it out and um it'll fall out and you'll be back to square one yeah hair dryers i mean they work they just don't work as good like this thing works fast um you're not going to be sitting there for more than a second doing this so Got it plugged in. Keep a nice distance away from everything else. Um, these things are really hot. So um, you got to be really fast with it. You can't let it linger on the battery too long in one spot. You should keep it moving. And don't get too, too close to it. Um, I've never had anything bad happen, but I don't know. I, I imagine you shouldn't get batteries extremely hot. 
something could go wrong, I imagine. So here we go. Just making sure I'm in frame here. And I start at the middle and I kind of just do it along the side. And you'll start to see, I mean, almost instantly, the um, the wrap will adhese right right up to the uh, the battery. Stick, it'll grab to it like glue. And you want to make sure it's completely flat against the battery, no crease. You'll see the top will curl a little bit. But I don't do the ends until the very end. Yeah, it's hot, but it, it works very efficiently. So I got the sides down good. And because the battery had so, so much of a, a crinkle in it, it was very creased. Um, that's when this heat gun comes in handy because it'll get that crease out a lot easier than a hair dryer would. So here we have, you'll see from like the middle up is done, right? A lot of glare going on here. And <clears throat> now I'm going to do the top. And the top is even a little more sensitive, so you don't want to overdo the top. And it it just kind of like squashes in on itself, caves in on itself, implodes. And it, it's quick, you know. I'm, I take longer doing this than I need to just because I'm there out and I'm trying to make sure it looks good, you know, but just to slap one on real quick, it'll be, it'll be done in two seconds if you want it to. Yeah, and that's adhesing to it pretty good. You can use your finger and kind of just add some pressure, make sure it's seated nicely. And yeah, these things are very hot. Like you can burn your hand really easily with this. Yeah, this one was tough with the crinkles. I wouldn't do this directly after charging a battery. I probably wouldn't do this on a dead battery either. Um, I would have make you know make sure it's charged or partly charged, and uh, you didn't just come from charging it. Just as a precaution. All right, so now we're basically done. And it came out pretty good. See the, see the end? I know it's glare and you can't focus. I wonder, and this thing's extremely hot too, so be careful what you do with it. Um, Cause you'll burn the shit out of yourself. Sorry, I just want to make sure I don't put that down improperly. Let's see if I could change my focus by blocking my face. No. I don't know what the minimum focusing distance is, but it's not very close. So you could see that pretty good. It's flush. I got a little bit of a crinkle here, but it's hard to get these things perfect.
And then I'm going to still got to do the, um, the negative side. So thanks. Um, you know, it's a simple thing, but a lot of people avoid doing it because they think it's too much trouble or work or whatever. If you don't have a heat gun, I understand, or a hair dryer, but I avoided doing it for a long time too. I mean, at one point I thought, I thought because of the heat, it's like killing your battery, but which it may to some degree or another, but it's nothing serious. Yeah. And so we're, uh, we're set. All right. And that'll do it. Thank you, Miner, for, for coming out for this, uh, event. <laughs> I wanted to at least like chime in one more time tonight just to, um, let you know that me and Ryan, we're not going to be doing the, uh, the part two vlog tonight. Um, he had other, uh, uh, other things to attend to, but maybe tomorrow night or in the future at some point, but, uh, yeah. And it's about, it's after eight now. So vaping Fagan's going to be on doing the, um, FAQ Friday. Or what do they call it? What's he just called now? Does he just call it the shit show? Damn it, that parrot. What what are you talking about? Look, it came out pretty good on the negative end. It's not covering too much, but covering just the right amount. It just sounds pretty good too. It's not covering too much and not too little. And I like this design. You know? The, the harpy kid. I guess it's kind of like space boy, but harpy boy. I don't know. I got a battery. I'm going to do soon. Ryan is parrot. Why is he parrot? <laughs> um, the model cell, this, this one, it's like a lower amperage, higher ma. Um, I'll do that one next. I think I got some, some wicked batteries or whatever. Ask him. Oh, okay, so it's like a little inside joke between you two. Yeah. So, just like, for example, you know, here's some more batteries wrapped. You know, it's simple. And these things, you can actually get these on um, needed stuff, the old Vape Haven site. And you can actually get ODB wrap for like a dollar a piece if you don't want to buy a pack of them. So that way you don't have like too many of the same wraps. Because um, you get like a pack of five or I don't know what it is, four or five for like five or maybe even up to like seven bucks, depending on the site you get it on. Or you could go through needed stuff and get them like a dollar a piece. So it's... um. And that way you have all different color wraps for whatever color matching you're trying to do on whatever mod, you know? So that's pretty much it. Not the most interesting topic, but I figured I'd at least put it out there for the public to, um, you know, if people wanted to know and what's the best way to do it, use a heat gun for sure. Um, all right, so tomorrow, like, uh, I really didn't get much else done. I wanted to at least get, I wanted to get my top 10 mods video done. I'll definitely do that tomorrow. And if I got, still got enough um, energy in me, I'll try to get the, the top 10 RBA video done tomorrow too. And I, I don't know how, if I'll, I probably won't be able to get them up right away, um, but I'll at least get them filmed and then, editing is probably going to be a little more involved because they're going to be a little bit more involved videos. Um, but you know, they'll look good. It may be some intercutting between HD, um, HD, my HD camera and this, uh, webcam I'm using right now. 
or I may try to do it all on HD. I, I don't know, but, uh, that's about it. Um, so thanks for uh, checking this out. Hope, uh, it was informational and I'll see you later.